Hi guys, I'm Marcel. Welcome back to The Pulse. Today I'm going to talk about things that you should be taking if you're taking NMN and if you want to follow my lead. I'm not giving any advice, but I'm saying these are things I take specifically related to NMN or supportive of uh, basically the lifestyle you're trying to live by taking NMN. Many people started taking NMN, they mention their results, but oftentimes I don't see what they're taking with it in the various comments that I get, and I wanted to make sure that I address it. There's a question that comes up all the time, and let's dig right into the things I take with my NAD booster NMN. I take first and foremost TMG. I take it because it supports my methyl groups, and methylation is something that can suffer when you're boosting your NAD levels. Keep in mind you're growing a lot more cells, you're getting your, a lot more activity in your mitochondria, and you want to have healthy cellular methylation. And that's what TMG can help you with. It's trimethylglycine. Highly recommend it. Everybody I personally know or turned on to NMN, I made sure they got TMG as well. Now the next thing I take is resveratrol. Resveratrol gets a lot of of discussion. However, um, I think it's shortchanged by a lot of people because for almost two years, it's the only supplement I was taking and I was deriving a lot of benefits directly after taking NMN, like less allergies, better recovery with sports, and just less chronic pain overall. I took NMN, it's, everything went into another gear, everything kicked into another level. But resveratrol has always got a special place in my heart, and uh, I highly recommend taking it. It boosts your sirtuins. It's said to be very healthy. If you're taking NMN, you derive more benefit. It's like the accelerator pedal to the fuel of taking NMN, as some scientists have uh, compared it. Now, as an alternate to uh, resveratrol, this is not number three. This is kind of a, a co-number two, uh, quercetin. Quercetin, I was a little bit later to the party. I tried it and then stopped. I found that the best results I was getting was by alternating. Resveratrol one day, quercetin the next day. I mix it into my yogurt and I really haven't had any allergies. They were already reduced from resveratrol and NMN, and then once I started mixing in quercetin, things just got so much better, I had no allergies at all anymore. So that is amazing. I'm 58 years old. I've had allergies my entire life up until I started taking these supplements. So that's a big code number two. Maybe try that if you want to alternate with resveratrol. You get the best of both worlds that way. There's no reason it won't stay in your body, in my opinion, from the research I've done. Now, the number three supplement is Fizotin. Fizotin has been a really a big boost for me. Um, I talk about Fizotin a lot. I was shocked. Fizotin has been a very powerful addition to my supplement stack. Um, because I do so much athletics and exercise, this has really helped my energy level and basically gives me a long burn. I can exercise much longer. I get a lot of energy from NMN and resveratrol. Fizotin gives me that long burn. I can keep going, keep going. I had no idea it was this powerful. I've got an update about Fizotin, how I take Fizotin, and things that it's helped with. Uh, I'm going to save that for a whole video in and of itself, but suffice to say, I consider this a big boost to taking uh, NMN. Now, Keep in mind, resveratrol, quercetin, phycetin, these are all flavonoids. They exist in our food supply. They exist in vegetables. They exist in berries, grapes. Um, I consider these uh, really natural supplements that can't do you any harm according to all of the science that's been collected. Another natural flavonoid is apigenin. And apigenin is healthy for uh, keeping your CD38 levels down, which can be boosted by NAD levels going up as is the case when you take NMN. So apigenin I consider number four. I really consider the first three as almost mandatory if you want to get the results I'm getting. NMN, TMG, resveratrol. If you want to start adding things, you can start adding things like um, Fizotin, you can start adding Apigenin, or number five, CAAKG. CAAKG is another supplement that I was surprised that I felt better after I took it. Uh, more of a youthful exuberance, energy. Um, it's not so much of an energy booster per se, but you just, it's a mood booster. It, I just feel better when I take CAKG. It's another thing we lose when we're older. 
uh, is AKG. This is calcium delivered AKG. And I just felt like I had something that I was missing. It was really weird how well that worked. The three that I feel something from right away are NMN, Fisetin, and CAA AKG. The others I take based on faith in the science that has grown from getting results from the supplements. And that's why I include them in my NMN-related stack. Now, there are some things you can do to support an NAD lifestyle, what I call an NAD-supportive lifestyle, and that will help the results from these supplements as well. I talk about a lot diet and exercise, but specifically more vegetables, leafy greens, reduce your sugars, reduce uh, processed foods for sure, reduce alcohol. When you do these things and then you couple that with better exercise, more exercise, consistent exercise, you metabolize these extra supplements that you might be taking and they're in your system, they get results right away, and then they're out of your system much quicker and much more efficiently. Everything works much better when you exercise. Your body works much better. So any nutrients that you're getting from your food supply or from your supplement supply is made better use of by exercising and a proper diet. Obviously, get a good night's sleep as well. So that's my stack. Now, if you're interested in some other supplements I take, I actually take up to 14. I do pull some of these. I don't take them all, all the time, but I do take them consistently month over month, and that video is right here. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.